So you've just got your R3 gaming router and you want to know how to set it up to get the best connection when gaming online. Well then, you're in the right place. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to physically connect your R3 to your current ISP router. Next, we'll run you through the initial setup wizard of Duma OS 4. Then we'll get the big features like Geo Filter and Smart Boost setup. There's timestamps in the description if you want to skip to a specific section of the setup. By the end of this video, you'll have a stable and low ping connection in whatever game you are playing. We're only covering the initial setup of features in this video to get you going as fast as possible. But we'll be releasing advanced setup guides in the future for those who want to completely optimize their settings in Duma OS. Let's get your R3 and Duma OS 4 set up then. First thing to do after taking your R3 out of the box is to attach the antennas. You'll want to tightly screw each antenna to the R3. You can screw any antenna into any post on the router. Once all four are attached, you'll want to point them upwards for the best Wi-Fi performance. Once that's done, you'll want to turn off your current router that's from your internet service provider. Then using the Ethernet cable that came with your R3, connect one end into the blue WAN port of the R3. The other end of the Ethernet cable plugs into your ISP router. Any wired devices that were plugged into your ISP router should be plugged into the R3 instead. This will result in the R3 being the only thing plugged into your ISP router's LAN ports. Your ISP router should still continue to be connected to its internet source, so make sure not to unplug that. Plug the R3 power adapter into the wall and the router. Then you can turn your ISP router back on and turn the R3 on with the button at the back. It will take a few minutes for your ISP router and the R3 to fully boot up. You'll know when it's done when the internet light and top RGBs light up on the R3. Now your router is connected and turned on, you'll want to connect a device to access the setup wizard. You can do this by using the Wi-Fi details found on the info card or from the bottom of the router. You can also scan the QR code from the info card to connect a mobile device. You can access Duma OS 4 through your desktop browser, the mobile app, or your mobile's browser. To access Duma OS through your desktop or mobile browser, type Duma OS or 192.168.771 into the search bar. If you'd rather use the mobile app to set it up, just scan the QR code on the info card that came with the R3 to download the app. We'll be showing the majority of the setup using the desktop version in this video, but the steps will be the same across mobile and desktop so you can still follow along if you're using the app. Once you've accessed Duma OS, you can begin the setup. You should see that the R3 has detected an internet connection. If it hasn't, then check you have everything plugged in correctly from the physical setup section of the video. Next, we have a terms and conditions page. Take some time to give these a read, then click continue when you're ready. If you leave your Wi-Fi details as default, you will be able to scan the other QR code on the info card to easily connect devices to your R3. Or you can set the Wi-Fi details to something more personalized. Your login details will be used when accessing Duma OS, so make sure you remember this information as we'll use it later on in the setup. You'll get a chance to confirm all of your information before saving. If it all looks good, then just hit continue and the settings will be applied. You'll then be prompted to enter your login details to continue. Now that's all done, it's time to set up Duma OS 4. Firstly, you'll need to run a speed test in order for the R3 to know your upload and download speeds. If the speeds at the end of the test aren't 100% correct, try running the test again, or you can manually enter your speeds here. You can choose what's important on your network, and Duma OS will automatically prioritize it. We'll talk about these settings more in the Smart Boost section of the video. You'll be able to change these settings later on, so we'll just leave them as default for now. From your priorities, you can choose the order of importance. We'd recommend setting gaming as the top priority, as that's probably the main reason you purchased the R3. Next is another set of tests in the form of Ping Optimizer. This will optimize your connection when your network is busy. This usually takes a few minutes, so we'll skip to the end for the sake of time. Once it's done, you can see the difference between what would normally happen to your ping when your network is busy and your new optimized ping. Okay, that's the last test you'll have to do, so it's time for a bit of fun. The RGB setup allows you to fully customize the colors and animation of the R3's LEDs. You can continue to experiment with these settings from the dashboard to match the rest of your gaming setup. Some last minute preferences and then we're done. You'll want to set your home location here so you can use the information later on in GeoFilter. And just like that, you're all done with the Duma OS 4 setup wizard. You'll be taken to the dashboard page once everything is loaded. This page gives you a complete network overview with links to some of the most important features. We're going to cover the setup process of the major Duma OS 4 features so you can enjoy gaming with a low ping and stable connection straight away. The first feature on the list is GeoFilter. It allows you to control what servers you play on when gaming online. 
We've made the setup process for all features in Duma OS 4 much easier, and GeoFilter is no exception. Simply add your device you're gaming on using this button, then select whatever game you want to get the best connection in. We'll be using Call of Duty in this example. Once this is done, we'd recommend going to another Duma OS feature, Ping Heatmap, to find the best server locations. Select your game from the drop-down and watch the map populate with server locations. The servers with the best ping will be colored green and will usually be the servers closest to you. Now you know where the best servers are located, you can adjust your geofilter radius to include them. If the game you are playing isn't in the ping heatmap list, we'd recommend setting your radius to around 1000 miles to ensure a low ping connection. That's the initial setup for the geofilter done. Now when you search for a game, you will only connect to servers within the radius around your home location. This keeps the servers close and your ping low. Something else to mention in geofilter is steady ping. It should be enabled by default and you can see if it's active from this button. For the best gaming connection, you'll want to have this turned on at all times. Steady ping works by removing jitter from your connection, leading to incredibly smooth and responsive gameplay. We have a whole playlist of feature explained videos on our YouTube channel if you want to learn more about the features covered in this video. Smart Boost is the next big feature in Duma OS 4. It prioritizes the traffic of your favorite applications and devices, making sure they always get the optimal amount of bandwidth for the best performance. We've made this feature much simpler to use compared to QoS in previous versions of Duma OS. Ironically, because of this, there isn't much of a setup process to show in videos. The network priorities you chose during the setup wizard will automatically be added to your priority list in Smart Boost. You can add more activities to the list using this button. There are whole groups of activities like gaming and live stream that cover a range of activities, or you can search for specific activities if you prefer. You can also change the priority order by dragging activities up or down on the list. The radial graph section of Smart Boost will show you how much bandwidth your activities are using in real time. Your prioritized traffic will be on the left side of the graph. This traffic will always be sent first on your network, meaning nothing will slow it down. There's plenty more features included in Duma OS 4 that we haven't covered in this video, but we have a whole video going through every feature that comes in Duma OS 4 on our channel. Most of them are pretty self-explanatory, but if you want to see what they do or learn more about them, then check out our Duma OS 4 UI redesign video. We'll have it pinned in the video card and linked in the description. And just like that, you've set up your R3 and Duma OS 4. If you followed our setup of GeoFilter and Smart Boost, you'll be able to jump straight into a game and enjoy a stable and low ping connection. If you like to tinker with settings, there's still plenty of room to experiment to get the most optimal settings for your network. Now you've seen us unbox and set up the R3, you might want to get your hands on one yourself. You can click the link in the description to visit our website to learn more and purchase the R3. If you've got any other questions about the setup process, drop a comment below and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.